difficult and challenge in your life, sit back and remind yourself how good God is. When the road is rough, sit back and remind yourself of the blessing that God gave you last year. When I remember he loves me, I will what? Oh. I am happy. I don't know about you. You need to be happy for me. So I'll be happy for you. So let's be happy together. Let's try it again. When I remember he loves me, I will what? Okay, let's try it now. See if we'll sing it together. When I remember he loves me, I shout hallelujah. When I remember he loves me, I will shout to be glad and I want to hear all our children shouting this. <laughs> when I remember, is that my Sarah? Yes, it is. <laughs> She's shouting her own. Yes. When I remember he loves me, I will shout hallelujah. When I remember he loves me, I shout hallelujah. When I remember he loves me, you will shout hallelujah. When I remember Sarah, I will shout. When I remember Michelle, I will shout. When I remember Angel, you will shout. When I remember he loves you, you will shout. When I remember Jeremiah, you will shout. When I remember I see you, you will shout. When I remember Nofia, you will shout. Oh, you guys are pulling me down. Sorry. When I remember Mother Piso, she will shout. When I remember Pastor Shepard, you will shout. May God bless you all. We'll try this before I finish today. The light of the day is reminding us the, the, the victory Daniel, Sheva, Meshach, and Abednego was given. And God came to reiterate again that that victory will come to you and I. God came to reiterate again that that victory will come. So you need to remember to shout hallelujah. You need to remember to scream hallelujah out loud. You need to do that. When you remember that God loves you, he saw you through 2021, and now here you are, 2022, Hallelujah. there should be a reason for you to shout a loud hallelujah. Amen. There should be a reason for you to shout it. Amen. There should be a reason for you to be joyful. Amen. Because this year, have, you, you, if you don't have hope, you need to find hope. You need to have hope. You need to have faith. Because if you remember the things God did for you last year for doing nothing. Let me say it again. If you remember what God did for you last year for doing nothing for him. How much do you think he will do for you if you do a little for him? When I remember he loves me, I will shout. I will not stop until I get a confirmation that you are giving glory to God. When I remember Sister Lily, I will shout. Hallelujah. When I remember Sister Lily, I will shout. Hallelujah. When I remember Helen, oh, she will shout. Hallelujah. Let us remember one another and glorify God. Amen. Remember your brother next to you and glorify God. Amen. Remember your brother that is not here today or your sister and glorify God. The victory God's given us, you need to take that victory, run with it. The victory Yahweh has given you, don't let it go. I'm about to go into my closing sermon because we need to glorify God. We need to sing and dance. If, and I'll be watching with this my blind eyes that doesn't see. I will see you not dancing today. And I will pinpoint you. I will come and hold you in body hand. You will come at me in the middle of the temple and dance. 
Because we need to remember what God did for you last year and shout hallelujah and have hope that he's even going to double what he did this year for you. Amen. Everybody open your mouth and say, Yahweh will double my blessings this year. And if you believe he will double it, shout hallelujah. Yes, it is so unto you in Yahshua's name. Amen. The book of Daniel, the light of the day, told us a story of Daniel. He told us what Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and Daniel went through. You know the story. Daniel was accused. Enemies of progress rose up against Daniel. And in the process, Daniel was thrown in the lion's den. I want you to hear this. Daniel was thrown in the lion's den innocently. God used that light of the day to remind you there will be a lion's den for you every year. Shall hallelujah. hallelujah. God wants me to remind you there will always be a lion's den and that lion's den is the temptation that awaits you. But to overcome it, remember we talked about the challenge, the opportunity. Daniel, I'm concluding that my series today. Daniel went through that trial or that challenge in his life and God gave him the opportunity of being the right hand man of the king. Because he had hope and faith. So you to be able to understand, to see the opportunity of God in every challenge of your life. For the opportunity to come, you have to think like Daniel. You have to hope like Daniel. You have to be honest like Daniel. You have to be loving like Daniel. For that opportunity to come your way, for us to be able to overcome 2021, the challenges is the opportunity of life today. Shout hallelujah. You need to think like that. Because your enemies, the devil, which is our act enemy, will never be happy to... In fact, the devil is not happy you saw January 1st, 2021. He's not happy. He's not happy your children are alive. He's not happy you are still a child of God. Because the devil will bring two products to entice you. Product number one, colorful things that will ruin your life. Product number two, oppression, to give up in God. And when the devil brings those two products to you, understand the one thing, that God is with you. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. The light of the day made us understand that Daniel went through these tumultuous challenges during his time. But God gave him victory. See what God did. If you go and read that Daniel. When, when Daniel became exonerated, the king said, Daniel, are you alive? He said, yes, I'm alive. My, so your God actually saved you. Oh, 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 bring Daniel out, please. Bring him out, bring him out, bring him out. They brought Daniel out. That is how God will bring you out of your own lion's den. Amen. This year in the name of Yeshua. Daniel was brought out of his lion's den. Whatever your lion's den that is waiting for you, and there will be one or more. There will be one or more. But God will authorize untimely death. Don't kill them, don't kill, but touch a little bit. There will be one or more. And at the end of the day, God will pack all that forces that battled against you and throw it into that lion's den that was almost going to consume you. That's what the message is. How about Shedrach, Meshach, and Abednego? In the challenge comes the opportunity. They were equally wanted to be coerced, forced to bow to an image, to do the things that goes against their God. So, guess what the devil will do? The devil will bring oppression, like I said, to you. To oppress you, to squeeze you. 
so that you will say there is no God. A lot of times, we, the children of God, we don't open our mouth to say there is no God. You know what we do? Our action tell you there is no God. Are you getting my point? You don't say, ah, there is a, I will never say there is no God, but your action is saying there is no what? God. Guess what? It's so pleasing to Shadrach and Meshach and Abednego's story. And mind you, there are three names in the Bible is not Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. One of them is Anania. Shadrach, do you know that? Yes, Anania. Now, listen. The devil will squeeze you. The devil will attempt to bring chaos in your life. Just like the devil came to tempt Jesus Christ, to squeeze Jesus Christ to give in. When Shana Bishak and Abadnego was, was tormented, you know what they said? We will not do this. King Nebuchadnezzar said, we will not do this thing you said we should do. And the king said, I will throw you into this fire. There will be your own fire. I want to remind you this. Don't go and think 2022 will come to an end without you going through a particular fire. All you have to do, the book of Ephesians says, put on the whole armor of what? God. Put on the whole armor of what? God. There will be your own fire. But at the end of the day, do what Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego said to King Nebuchadnezzar. said, King, we will not do this thing you said we should do to offend God. But let me tell you something, King. Even if God decides that he will not save us from your wrath, will not save us from this fire, we still will not cave in. What is the message there? Don't cave in to the oppression of the devil. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Remind yourself you serve a God. When that fire comes, and when the fire comes, remind yourself, say, you know, last year, I was in a situation A and B, God saved me. Remind yourself that last year, when I had this problem, God saw me through. Remind yourself that last 2021, when this challenge rose against me, I saw the opportunity God brought to my life. And remind yourself that God loves you so that you have the faith and hope to shout what? Hallelujah. Moving forward, my brothers and sisters, we will read two portions of the scripture. And when we are done reading it, we will now go into glorifying God and dance to his glory. Because Psalm 150 verse 6 says, let everything that has breath do what? Amen. So you will praise, we will praise God today. Amen. Shana, hallelujah. hallelujah. Now, moving forward, Forward. Someone open 1 Corinthians chapter 13. Read from verse 1. I'll tell you where to stop. Moving forward. To overcome your lions then. To overcome the, 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 the steam of fire that the devil is prepared to pull through you in. To overcome it. Let us utilize this scripture you are about to read and be able to understand the tools you need to overcome that fire. Read 1 Corinthians 13 from 1 for me. I'll tell you when to stop. Probably, uh, maybe stop at verse 10. Take it one verse at a time. Peace in Yahshua's name. Amen. Peace in Yahshua's name. Amen. Can, give her a mic so I can hear her voice. It is mic close by. You know, I'm getting old, so my ears are uh, holding with me. If mic is close by, give her a microphone so that I can hear her. So, I want you to use these tools to overcome your lion's den to overcome your fire. Uh-huh. Go ahead. First Corinthians, give her a microphone so I can hear her. No. 
Though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels, mm -hmm. and have not charity, mm -hmm. I am become as sounding brass or a think tinkling cymbal. Mm -hmm. And though I have the gift of prophecy mm -hmm. and understand all mysteries mm -hmm. and all knowledge, and though I have all faith mm -hmm. so that I can remove mountains and have not charity, I am nothing. And though I bestow all my goods to be the and though I give my body to be burned, and have not charity, it profiteth me nothing. Charity suffereth long, and is kind. Charity envieth not. Charity vaunteth not itself. Is not puffed up. Doth not behave itself. Now, charity is the same thing as what? Love. love. So, you see, the word love, if you put it there in form of charity, you need this thing to overcome. Daniel had love in him and had love for others. So let me say, I had love in them. And if you, whatever you have in this world and there is no love in you, those things are useless. Uh huh. Does not behave itself unseemly. You see, it, 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 see love does not what? Yes. You cannot be rude. You cannot, you cannot be arrogant. Uh huh. Seeketh not her own. Try not to be pompous like all I care, selfishness. I want, I'm selfish. You see, Daniel was praying for the Israelites. So love is something you need not to be found in the lion's den. Uh huh. Is not easily provoked. Don't easily provoke. Don't provoke me now. Don't provoke. I, I easily get provoked. I will kill you. I will don't provoke me now. Who are you? Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. The devil uses this lack of love to hold you and I hostage. Sometimes we will say, I don't have a problem. Yes, there is a problem deep down. Today you need to free yourself. Shall hallelujah. hallelujah. Today we need we need to free our what? Ourselves. You need we need to free ourselves. Is there someone in your life that you think you owe love? Before someone said today, make a list. Start with the first one on your list. Is it a sibling? Is it a friend? Is it a relative? Make it a point of duty. You don't have to go and buy gifts to give them, but let it come from your heart. If you don't have it, you're wasting time. If you don't have love, you're wasting time. Pastor Jude may not see that you don't have that love, but God does what? Pastor Jude may not know that you and someone is having bitter issues. But God sees it. You need to now make that decision within you. From your heart. Free yourself from it. Free yourself. Embrace that love. Don't be in a position where I see my brother or I see my sister I want to take off. Don't be in a position where I see my brother and I see my sister I'm no longer happy. No. God says, it's not self-seeking. It's not about you, but it's about the work of who? Yahweh. You need to free yourself so that when that lion's den come this year, when that fire that Nebuchadnezzar said for Shedan, Meshach, and Abednego, you will not fall into it. Like I said, some say, oh, I love, I have faith in God, I have hope in God, oh, I love God, but your action speaks otherwise. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Your action speaks otherwise. Continue, my dear. No evil. You shouldn't think evil. You know, sometimes we say, I have never thought about it. I, let, me, let me explain something. All of us in here, we think evil against one another. Let me explain how. Because you're angry at me, or I'm angry at you, you find something that will benefit me, and you withhold it because you're not happy with me. You see, you are indirectly thinking what? 
See, and they don't like this part. If I open my mouth and say the blessing is all yours, now you will respond. Are you following me? Yes. We say, I, I, I have nothing against you. Are you getting my point? Yes. Yes. Let me tell you how we have something against one another. When you know something that will benefit me, an ordinary phone call will benefit me. I promise you that. You will call your brother out of the blues. An ordinary phone call will put a smile on my face. Or you find out something that will benefit me and out of, I don't want trouble. I, 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 don't, I, don't, want, I don't want trouble. You don't know. Holding that information, holding that gift, holding that love, you have thought evil against me. Unknowingly. You heard of something somebody said about me and you keep it and don't come to me and confront me with it. Whether it is a false or a true statement, someone told or someone told you that Pastor Jude said and you use that against me, you are indirectly has withheld evil against me. That's how we do it. Do you know Pastor Jude said you, you're a very stupid person? Ah, that man is, don't trust Pastor Jude. I want you to listen carefully. We'll do this. All of us, including myself. If you don't want to be part of that evil, go confront that evil. Go and speak about it. Go and say it. It may hurt, but what? Say it out. See, the book of 1 Corinthians says, Love does not repeat that again, my daughter. That last one is the word you said. Rejoices, not in equity, but rejoices in the truth. No, this one said evil. Oh, evil. Yes. It thinketh no evil. It thinketh no evil. So sometimes we unconsciously think evil, not knowing we are thinking evil. Sometimes we unconsciously do that. Don't know it. We thought we think we are innocent. That's why God is a fair judge. That's why God is a fair judge. We are all guilty. We are all guilty. The way to get out of, out of that kind of thing is do what Daniel and Sherry is gonna buy they go to. Let's say someone says, you know, you know when I'm speaking, when I'm speaking, I'll say to someone, you see this thing I'm telling you, I didn't say don't say it out. Are you following me? Mm -hmm. If I am speaking about someone, as I did not say don't ask. I did not say don't speak. I will never say that. The only time you hear me say it is something confidential that is spiritual in nature in a way. I was like, I, was like, I did not say don't. Whatever I said to you, say it anywhere. So that I don't, or you and I don't partake in evil things. Doing that provokes Yahweh. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Keep reading. Rejoices not in equity. But it doesn't rejoice in iniquity. Uh-huh. But rejoices in the truth. Love should rejoice in the what? Truth. From near on to avoid that lion's den. Love should rejoice in the truth. You know, there's, let me, I, I, there's someone that I had, I would say, an issue with about two or three weeks ago. I've not spoken to that person for about a year. I called him up and told my wife about it. I said, my brother, it, you know, in fact, if you want to know that person is Elder Akai, I don't need to hide it. I like to lead by example. I like to what? You can call him up and ask him. I said, Ella, it's over a year. We had an issue. And anyhow, I have offended you. Do what? Forgive. Forgive me. There's another name on my list that I'm calling today before sunset. And when I'm done calling that person, 
I will stand before you and say, oh, I call that person. That's how God wants our life to be. Are you getting my point? Amen. You don't have, you, it's very easy. You will be amazed. The burden will take off your heart. I call it, I, I'm calling his name because it's not a secret thing. You can ask him. I said, my brother, God wants us to be in peace. God wants you and I to live like brothers. I don't want a situation where we will find ourselves in the gathering and I'm avoiding you. I don't want that. Now, whether he receive it or not, I have done my work. Yeah, Absolutely. Even last night, I... No, not last night. Yeah. I should have shot him a text. Hey, may the Lord... I called him, didn't pick. I left him a voice missing. I have done my part. It is not your business to know if the person received you or... Avoid your lions then. Avoid. Avoid. Uh, what's the other one? The, the fire the devil set for you this year. Avoid it. Those are the traps the devil will set for you and I without knowing it. I have a second name on my list. I want to keep doing this one at a time until I make sure I have cleared up all my what? I don't have to do it all in today, but my, my spirit has led me to make the next call. I call him. I want you all to live an exemplary life. So that the angels will be excited about hearing your name. So that the angel of God will be happy to know you are doing the will of God. It is not easy. But the devil will try. And I'm sure he was... I, I told my wife, I said, oh, from the way he received my conversation, it sounded genuine. I told my wife that. I don't have to... I don't have to. I'm like, I, I, life is too short. My brothers and sisters, love overcomes and endures all things. And that will help you to conquer that lion's den. That hope. Don't be told the love you have for me or anyone else. Of course, there are some individuals, I said it last night, that there's nothing you can do to, to make it right. Just do your what? Part and move on. Do your part and move on. Continue doing your part. I am a human being. I have my own shortcomings. I always make mistakes. We will make mistakes. We will always trample on each other's feet. How we trample on each other's feet does not matter. What matters is how was it resolved? And how was it received? Understanding there are people in this world, I, I finally came to that conclusion, some individuals in this world can never say they are sorry. Can never say I am wrong. When you spend time dwelling on those characteristics, you end up offending God in the process. Do your part. If you need to say sorry, say it. If you need to say it is I am wrong, do it. For this year to come with hope of God, for this year to come with faith of God. For this year to come with the blessings of Yahweh. You didn't do anything. He gave you everything last year. Not to talk of what you put in a little effort. How much God will give you. Where you came from does not matter anymore. It is where you are going. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Where you came from does not matter. It is where I am what? So, my brothers and sisters, Deuteronomy 28, if you read verse 1, read it for me, and that's the last quotation. And I want us to read that so that you see what God said will do if you do a particular thing. Now, Deuteronomy 28 from verse 1 to, I believe, to verse 8, if I'm not mistaken. Deuteronomy 28. Someone read it for me. Amen. Amen. Deuteronomy chapter 28. Yes. From 1. And now it shall come to pass. It shall come to pass. If you diligently obey the voice of Yahweh. See, he said if you diligently obey the voice of Yahweh. Like, guess what? I caught someone that I was angry at over a year. Uh, I live by example and I like showing examples. It may take me a little but try and work hard. It's not easy but do your best. Diligently obey the voice of who? 
I realized my soul is telling me I need to reach out to this. My brother I mentioned his name. And if you understand the reason that kept us apart, you may say, man, this guy, you didn't do well. You may blame somebody, but I'm not. I, I want you not to look at where he is wrong, but look at what I can do to make it right. Are you getting my point? Do not look at where my brother is wrong, but look at what can I do for us to be right. Do your best. He said, if you diligently obey, when the Lord puts in my heart that it's time for me to not let this unnecessary stuff take this long, I push a call. Most likely, there are people who are willing to not even bother their life. Don't be like those individuals. Shout hallelujah. There are people who are not willing to even reach out to you. Don't bother yourself. Do your part. Are you getting my point? Shout hallelujah. Am I making you upset? If you are not upset, shout hallelujah to Yahweh. Hallelujah. Okay, continue. To observe carefully all his commandments, which I command you today, and Yahweh will set you high above all. You see, if you observe all his commandments, those commandments, it is not only keep the Sabbath day holy, it is not only do the feast of Passover. A lot of us use, oh, I'm going to Sabbath and I'm doing the, the, the Passover, I'm doing the tabernacle. All those are really secondary. I want you to understand this. Those are what? Secondary. Because the eyes of man can see that, ah, Pastor Jude, eh, the way he celebrates because his Passover is so good. What Pastor Jude had is not clean. What is the primary one is what is in your heart. So that is one of the obey diligently, the commandment of Yahweh, love your neighbor as yourself. We just read it in 1 Corinthians chapter 13. So that you will avoid the lion's den, the devil, or overcome the lion's den and that fire. So that the challenge that has its opportunity will come to you. Continue. Yeah, well, it will set you high above all the nations of the earth. It will set you above all the nations. Let's count the blessing. Number one, it will set you high above all nations. Remember I said, in the word of God, there is what they call principle, program, and a promise. Now, the principle here says, if you diligently obey, that's the principle, then the program is doing it. And then the promise is now, the list is about to be read. So go ahead, read the list. To all these blessings shall come upon you and overtake you. Mm -hmm. Because you obey the voice of Yahweh. Mm -hmm. Three, blessed shall be Blessed shall you be in the sea, mm -hmm. and blessed you shall be in the country. Mm -hmm. For blessed shall be the fruit of your body. The fruit of your blessed shall be the fruit of your body. The produce of your ground. The produce of your ground, meaning you go to work, you're making money, you are, you are, you are making, you God is blessing the produce of your ground. Uh -huh. And the increase of your herds. Uh -huh. The increase of your cattle the, and the offspring of your flocks. Uh -huh. I bless shall be your baskets and your kneading bowls. Yes. Six, blessed shall be, blessed shall you be when you come in, and blessed shall you be when you go out. Go out. Seven, Yahweh will cause your enemies who rise against you. See, um, he will cause your enemies who rise like the rose against that, the rose against Shadrach, Kamishak, and Abadne, he reversed it. So, you don't even need, he said he will cause your enemy, uh-huh. Against you to be defeated before your face. They shall come against you one one way and flee from you seven ways. This is Yahshua's name. They shall come in one way and flee out seven ways. Let us rise. Everyone, at least heads of household, but if you can read this, open Deuteronomy 28. When you're reading it, you call it the name of your family. I need trumpeters to come and line up for me. The Lord wants us to commit this year and beyond into the hands of Yahweh. Hmm. Trumpeters.